Hello 3D printer peeps, sitting here next to a Creality K1. Today we are going to go ahead and change the K1 hot end. Not the entire assembly, which includes the heat sink and requires you to disassemble half the printer. The ceramic heater block kit. That is the ceramic heater, the thermistor, and the nozzle in one assembly. This job is a lot simpler than, for example, upgrading the entire hot end to the new unicorn style. That brings me to one point. Your machine may have come with the unicorn nozzle. That is a different assembly and requires a different procedure. If you have the standard original non-unicorn hot end, this video is for you. Early models of the K1 printer came with a hot end that was prone to failure. There were issues with thermistors disconnecting from the ceramic heater. However, those hot ends were quick to be revised and despite what you might be told by internet trolls, the Creality hot end is perfectly acceptable to use and works very well. Today, we will go ahead and install that Creality replacement hot end. It is most likely that any reputable shop you order from today will be sending you the latest version. Let's raise my FlexiSpot desk and get a better look at this hot end. Super important before you go about changing the hot end, press on the hamburger, press extrude retract, and press retract. This will heat up and remove any filament from the hot end or nozzle that will make removal difficult. The first thing we'll need to do is remove this cover. If you have a K1 Max, you will need to remove the LiDAR first. I will switch over to a previously recorded video to show you how to do that. To remove the LiDAR, you will need to remove one ribbon cable. That cable is connected here and in the tool head circuit board here. Go ahead and simply pick this cable off the tool head. With as little pressure as possible, remove that screw. And screw number two is hiding right here. Do support the LiDAR. When the screw comes off, the LiDAR will fall. You now have access to both cover screws. You are simply removing two screws. This one here and on the other side, this one right here. That's one. And that's two. The cover sits on two clips, one right here and one right here. Move this cable chain out of the way so it doesn't block the cover. Grab a hold of the cover and work it outward and up. It may feel really snug, but if you give it a solid pressure, it will in fact let go and come off. Remove it by pulling out this little clip. Let's go ahead and have a peek at the hot end. You will see two wires, the thermistor and the heater. Yours may be bundled together like this, but they have two separate connections. Those connections need to be removed. They may be glued. You'll have to be very gentle to pick off that glue and separate those cables. There's one for me. This is the heater. This gold wire is the thermistor. That reads the temperature of the hot end and reports it back to the printer. And there's your thermistor wire. If you accidentally separated this port a little bit, don't worry. The pins going through it are the important part. This is just a plastic clip that just slides over two holes. Push it back in and you should be okay. Next up, we are going to remove this silicone boot, also known as a silicone sock. It is literally a sock or a boot covering the ceramic heater and we're just gonna work it off. The longer yours has been on, the harder it may be to pop it off. Don't worry about breaking it. They are cheap and easily replaceable. Your new hot end will include one. Here you'll see the ceramic heater along with the thermistor wire and heater wire attached to it. Screwed into that is the nozzle. We are going to remove and replace this entire section. We will remove two screws right here and right here. 
these screws should be quite snug so get them started gently look to the back and locate this screw right here pinch the hot end and loosen that screw with that screw nice and loose pinch the hot end and just wiggle it off this is what it looks like with the hot end removed the Creality hot end looks like this with the screws and grub screw required for installation and it should have come with some thermal grease if it didn't you will want to get some that thermal grease will go right here on this copper fitting. You may bend the thermistor and heater wire out of the way and then simply apply some of this thermal paste right here. No need to get fancy, just apply a little bit around the tube. While you're here, work this red silicon sock off. Back to the K1 heatsink, go ahead and slide the tube of the hot end into the hole on the heatsink. You might need to just give it a little wiggle. And with a little coaxing, the tube will slide up into that heatsink. Now, with the wires and ceramic heater exposed, you can gently rotate the ceramic heater. We will move this wire out of the way toward the back of the machine and then guess what? Plug them back in to these little ports right here in the front. Each one will only fit in one port. Getting these wires back into place absolutely sucks. I did mine off camera to prevent breaking my very own K1 printer. Keep in mind the heater wire is quite flexible and the thermistor wire is copper so it can be bent in order to get a better angle however it doesn't flop around like the heater wire so please be a little more gentle when dealing with the thermistor wire with everything in place I want you to grab this heater and turn it so that the heater wire is in the rear that allows this lump on the silicon boot to cover that heater wire. With that turned to the rear, go ahead and turn this little black piece so that it lines up. Then go ahead and install your screws. Long screws, one on each side. I want you to be the boss on these screws and make sure they're really snug. There should be no movement on this hot end at all. With everything in place, go ahead and put the silicon boot back on. Don't forget, you've got one little grub screw left and it goes right here. Again, I want you to be pretty firm on this one. Go ahead and put your cover back on. That little connection right there, pull your cable chain back, slide it over little holes, press it into place, and you're done. One screw here, one screw here. Your fancy new Creality hot end is installed. Go ahead and turn the printer on. Look for smoke and fire. With everything installed, the machine turned on, no sparks, beeping smoke or fire. Load up some filament, press the hamburger, press extrude, and press extrude. Your hot end will fire up and filament will come out the nozzle. If that happens,
all is right with the world.